Hey Stampers, it's Gainer again. Um, I did mention on last night's video that I would be coming back with an oldie. Mm. Lubricate my voice a little bit. Um, so I've made this. It's not quite lined up and I can see it's not, it is sitting flat. It will sit flat, but it's just, a, and I mean a fraction. Do you see it? It's not lined up right at the very edge. So it, but it's an old one and it's a, it's a wiper card. Please don't look at this either side. I had bigger numbers on there. I had the numbers 21 and they were sticking too far up. So every time it closed, it got caught. So this is just a practice card, but you can't beat an oldie and a goodie. Happy birthday. And then wish on the front. So I'm going to show you how to make it. Lovely, adorable. Oh, and it does sit up on your desk. Oops, well, she said it does. It's supposed to. It, well, it, it would just help if you've got a flat surface, but it does sit up. <laughs> so, what you're going to need is, I've used thick Whisper White. And this is seven and a half by eight and a quarter, uh, eight and an eighth. Um, this is like, you can get two cards to each piece. And this is three by seven and a half. And we're going to score the two of them in a both exactly the same way. That look offline to you. Is it my eyesight? Or am I just going to do that? So I'm going to fetch in my scoring tool. And it's just so simple. We're going to score this at five and six. And we're going to score this one exactly the same. Five and six. How easy. I've, the one I made before was the, they were both exactly the same size. You know, like a, a shadow box card. But I thought I wanted a little bit of that white trim showing. So why not? Fetch back an oldie, but a good one. So what we're going to do, we're just going to fold and burnish our black card. And I chose black because I'm using Broadway Bound. And the colour scheme is black in there. So you've got this bit, which is going to go this way on our card. And then we're going to do exactly the same. Fold back, making sure each point is at either side. And then just fold this one towards you. Or have I done that wrong? I have done that wrong. You fold this one and then this one. Oh, so you gain your silly sausage. Look, doing it wrong again. Look at there in the end. So we want basically two pieces that interact and close together perfectly on the edges when they're closed. So it does lay flat. <laughs> so when it opens, it's going to open like this. First of all though, I am fetching in these beautiful little diamond shapes and I'm just going to stamp them all the way along the edge of my card just to give, uh, just to save on that little white border. Just going to add these all the way along both sides, top and bottom. Isn't it gorgeous? You could mix and match, but I want to keep my pattern pretty uniform. So, and I'm making sure I'm trying not to go over the edge there. You look, see? I think if I pull it down, I can see better. That's it. And then we're just going to flip it round and we're going to do exactly the same thing along the bottom. If you want to speed this bit up, you're more than welcome to do so. I'm in concentration mode. <laughs> I hope you've had a lovely, lovely day. I don't know what day it is for you, but because I film in advance, I don't know what day you'll be watching this on. But I hope you've had a lovely day, whatever you've been doing. I'm starting to go off the page now. 
last one. There we go. Isn't that cute? Aren't those little diamonds just so precious? And I think that is all we need our ink for anyway. No, we're going to need that for our other piece. You will going to need a little piece which is two by three and this is for the inside mechanism. And I've got the words happy birthday and they're from happy birthday gorgeous because I don't think no there's no birthday in this it's, it's, it's hooray wish you're never too old to make a wish make a wish it's your birthday but will it go across there you deserve it let's celebrate you I just wanted it to say happy birthday right let's see it's so tiny it would but I want the boldness of this to stand out so I pinched this from here, which is Happy Birthday Gorgeous. So while we've got the ink out ready, we're going to stamp our sentiment. And I'm going to pop this. I did have it right at the very top, but I want to add some of those numbers again. So I'm just going to pull it down a little bit. So when we cut our numbers out, I can stick them across there. Mind you, I can always stick them either side, like I just have with the other one. So, 18. You can add any numbers you want. You don't have to put numbers on. They're obviously going to know it says happy birthday. So, uh, yay. So with this, I want you to... You can do this on your own self if you want. Um, let me just check. What you need to do is turn this over and you're going to fetch this corner and make sure it runs up that line. So, I'm just going to bend by eye. But you want to keep that in a straight, straight line. I'm going to crease. And that's where your little mechanism is going to flick, 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 flick. So you're going to set that to one side. We are going to add some tear and tape and some glue. Oh, excuse me. So for my designer series people, I've used this beautiful stars. Absolutely gorgeous with the gold. And this measures two and seven eighths by four and seven eighths. And this is going to fit right on that panel perfectly. I don't want a humongous border all the way around. I may, uh, yeah, it just fits up to that line, believe you me, because it's black. And then I added two more pieces. I've got another one here. This is seven eighths by two and seven eighths. And then this one is one and three eighths, but my stars are running the wrong way. But I didn't, oh, it is rather long. It's too long, actually. Let me just trim that down. This needs to be two and seven eighths as well. But I didn't want to cut up a whole sheet of designer series paper just for one, um, for two and seven eighths by one and three eighths. So, there we go. That was over a little bit too much. So, and I thought there's stars anyway, so no one's really going to notice if I put them on that way so it's entirely up to you if you think of uh, well you could even turn it this way and then turn this one this way if you wanted a splash of colour on your card I think I'm going to do it that way yeah why not because I did exactly the same on here now you can notice because I've told you I bet you didn't notice before yeah, I bet, well, I bet you did. <laughs> so we're just going to attach our pieces. I'm going to use Tombow because it gives me a little bit of wiggle space. And like I'm saying, we can add a little bit of colour to this card. Nice again, a nice, I mean, most people do a quarter of an inch. I like when you've got black and you don't want it too intrusive. I'm going to wait for that tiny little bit of glue on my finger and um, I liked the little borders 
just is perfect. It just shows enough black. So I am going to add some more glue. Do you know what I've just thought? Oh my word, silly sausage gainer. I'm just going to use that. Do you know I've got to use the marquee thing, the light, Broadway lights on the front of here, instead of using a circle? That would have been lovely. And then cut another piece out with the gold. I could have done that, couldn't I? Oh well, never mind. So I'll attach this piece as well. But there's loads of little beautiful papers inside this, this Broadway bound. It's called the Designer Series paper. It's absolutely gorgeous. There's so many gorgeous designs. It is unreal. Absolutely beautiful. There we go. Just going to help that down. Isn't that? That is so cute now. I'm loving that colour. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? So now what we need to do is attach that so we know that when it sits flush it's going to stay in place. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add tear and tape and I'm going to put two little rolls here quite close to the edge any overhang just flick back on yourself after you've burnished and taken the backing off. I'm going to have two pieces there and I'm going to then I'm going to put Three, I'm going to have three on this one. So I'm going to have because this piece is going to go flat against your card anyway. It doesn't need to be moved anywhere. Oops. Sticking to my fingers. So don't put this away. We're going to use that again in a moment. So burnish your tape down. And then we're going to peel it off. Where's my piercing too? Look at my hands going there. So I'm gonna we're gonna pop this side on first. Pop that in my little jar. And now you've got to line this up, up perfectly. So I'm gonna lay my card flat. Determine how much border I want either side. And then that's going to go there. Isn't that cute? So, when we adhere this down now, it's going to be level with that. It's got to be level. So I'm going to pull back my backing tape. What I'm going to do, I'm going to sit this back and then this. And then I'm just going to, I should have done that last time, shouldn't I? And now that's perfectly flat. And it will go in a standard size card uh, envelope. Yay! Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, love it. So what I did, I cut out the largest sca uh, scallop circle with the black. And I did the second size down then, so this fit with the gold foil and then run it through with the stars on to match my stars on here. Isn't that cute? So they're going to get a deer down there. So I'm going to grab my glue for this. Because we're not sticking, it's not glimmer paper, so I use tear and tape when glimmer pa paper is involved. I'm just making sure, and I've got wiggle space, just so I can make sure that is flat. And I'm going to rub from the back gently, so I can spread the glue, make it stick, without pushing out that pattern. So I don't really want to be rubbing it with a bone folder. So making sure that stays. You could add this on dimensionals, 
that. I'm going to do that actually. I think I did that with the other one. Yeah, I did. So I'm gonna, and I'm gonna pop them not too close to the edge because it's fine on these sides on these, but top and bottom. I'm just gonna pull them in a little bit. I'm gonna have one for the centre. My little pot's getting full. Rectify that. And I'm just going to peel back. The back ends. Love this little tub. And if, if like me, you've got a bit of glue on your poker tool. And it's clean as a whistle again. I know these are top and bottom, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close my card actually so I can get the right distance. And there we go. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Love it. I've gone ahead and pre-cut the word wish out, which is going across the front of my card. You could use any colour paper for this and I didn't want to use black again. Um, I would love a stamp that would stamp the words wish with the dots on there, uh, but it hasn't. So what I might do with this one, because they we you a little 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 I'm all words. <laughs> I'm turn that over so it's the right way. I'm just gonna grab my black marker pen. I'm gonna hopefully. Fingers crossed. I'll test it on the back first. I'm just going to blob some dots on. I'm going to swap this one up. Yeah, I think that's very cute. So now we know it's going to work. I'm going to do it on the front of the card. And I'm just touching. I'm not making circles. I'm just putting dots on. Keeping them evenly spaced. Because this stamp set has got the word wish and then it's got a little stamp that you can go over with dots. You could at this point put little uh, black rhinestones on here and have them as embellishments sticking out. I don't think I've got enough of them left to do the whole of the word. So, hence my marker pen. We could have done this with rhinestones. Oh, see now, I'm putting ideas in my own head. You could do this with the artisan pearls and just add colour to them or the right colour to them before you stick them down. You could add that, do that with normal pills and just colour them in black. See, um, give, uh, why would I do that now and then come up with another idea? <laughs> oh, I don't know. This is gainer for you. So, these are my pieces. I'm just going to hold them because I need to know where to glue because do you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna add dimensionals on these as well. I wonder if I can get a little tiny one on there. I've seen people do this. Oof! Now they cut up. I'm not using these bits. Well, I might actually for some certain parts on the W and the wish. Let's see if we've got enough. Add them on the back of these. Oh, look at that. Gainer's coming up with ideas again. So let's see if that's wide enough. Oh, just. Just wide enough. So I think I'm going to need some thinner ones. Oops. I think that might be a bit too wide. Yeah. But they'd be perfect on here. Oops. Oh, that cut 
through that one properly. Now it's still attached. But that can go there. You don't want any pieces coming through, see? That one's still attached. That one fits. I'm just going to nip them a little bit more in half. We don't let none of these go to waste. They're brilliant. Fabulous, absolutely fabulous. That's a better fit. Perfect. easier to control. Oh lovely, love it, love it, love it. Thing is, I'm going to get one for the eye. I'm going to have to cut a really tiny little piece for the, the dot. So I reckon maybe two more, one here. And one more there. I need to be removing these pieces, so let's get this little turn in. Remove the back ends while we're here. Because there are a few of them. You can fast forward this bit as well. <laughs> Go for it. I'll see you in two seconds. I don't know how to speed things up. I'm not that. I'm good, but I'm not that good. Tiny little pieces. Oh, I watched a film last night with Lola. Oh my gosh. It was called, I don't know if it's a kid. I love kids' films. It's called Coco. I don't know if anyone of you have seen it, but oh my word, absolutely made me cry. Yeah, a kid's film. A cartoon at that. So let's see if that one is big enough there. It looks short enough. Whoops, and now it's sticking to my finger. Oh my word, I cried at the end. You have it, what, I'm a big sucky when it comes to kid's films. It's a little bit too long, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to snip from the back so it's tucked away nicely. There we go. I think we might have it. Ta-da! Let's see if we can get the back off this. Looks like a little eyeball now. I could have used a, um, a, 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 a boggly eye, can I? So that is, I'm going to have to keep that stuck to my finger. So let's get these on here. So right through the centre of this Perfect, absolutely perfect. And now for my little dot. I could have used a, uh, a boggly eye, yeah. Look at that. Fits there, love it. Isn't that cute? Oh my god, I love it. You could also cut out some of the party hats and the ice cream and the balloon and stick them on the side. It's entirely up to you. Um, you could just add the little hat as a, a stamp even but I'm going to leave mine like that I uh, this is all my stars by the way what I run the gold foil through the big shot with I think it's retired now but I am going to come back in now and I need to pinch some letters numbers letters so I haven't got a one anywhere I haven't got a two anywhere either it's only got grey paper I don't think they've got any more bits Oh, there's one. Oh, see, there's not quite a full one there because we've got about 18 or 21 even, but no. So, let's see if I've got anything else in here that would... We could even cut out one of these little party hats and have that sticking out the top. 
That way there's no age limit then. Shall we do that? And let's see what else we've got. There's a small piece. We won't go for the numbers on this one. We'll cut out a little party hat. As you can see. And I might even cut a candle out for this slide. Don't throw anything away. Oh, I'm murder. <laughs> Uh, I used to try to not throw anything away, so I'm going to go for this long one here. And I'm going to stick this up on dimensionals, I think. So just follow it round with your scissors. I'm not going to go too... close to that candle, the, the top bit. I oh, don't want to go too thin into there. Yeah, if you get a chance to watch it, it's about a little Mexican boy and his family have forbidden him from singing because of his father who was in heaven. Oh, you just got to watch it. Oh, it's great, great grandfather, sorry, should I say. It is so heartwarming. You'll love it. Absolutely love it. So, oh, come back with my little pieces. Now I can go and grab some of this for the flame. And stick it down properly. I'm sorry. I'm out of view. And then I got one piece for there. One piece for there. You can't see it. It's on the slant. But yeah, oh my gosh, cried at the end. Big sucky I am. And I'm just going to stick that candle right on there. Isn't that cute? And we're going to have a party hat. What colour? Let's go for this red one on the end here. Do they, I wonder if this dye will fit. Ooh, will that fit on top of these? Yes. Oh my gosh, I don't have to fussy cut. How wicked is that? So I'm just going to bob over there quickly and cut this out. My fingers crossed. I think I might have to, I'm going to find a piece so I can have the red hat. There we go. I'm going to snip that off the bottom there. And I'm going to cut out that lovely red hat. Well, oh my gosh, isn't that great? The big shot's all set up for them. Um, to cut as well, so I'm a lucky girl. The plate was off. I'm gonna whisk that through, and I might even grab the net, the one next door to it as well, and have two hats, one either side. This is perfection. Absolutely love it. So if you heard my plate crack, that is perfectly normal for a sound on the big shot. There we go. Oh my word, I've got two of those beautiful little hats. How fabulous. And here they are. Look, look at that. He cuts them out perfect. Oh, now I'm a really happy chappy now. So fetching this piece back in, I'm going to stick. I don't want everything to stick it out too far, so I'm going to come down so there's not too much of an overhang. And I'm going to glue them right on there. Oh my god, I'm a happy chappy. Tell you what, I'm going to glue just a little bit at the bottom. And we're going to get glue transfer because you don't want too much. So I'm going to I'm going to go over that Y a little bit. You don't want too much on the wonk, but you don't want too little. That's not so it's not wonking. If you know what I mean. So, isn't that cute? Oh my gosh. Right, now back to our tear and tape. I bet you're thinking, where's that mechanism? Okay, <laughs> the mechanism now. So I'm going to add tape on there. I'm going to burnish and watch now. Any overhang. Because it's double-sided tape. 
take it over. And now I'm going to add glue as well. The tape is just to get it in place quickly. And the glue is for extra strength. So you're going to fold this back. No, you're not. You're going to actually going to open your card. Oh, let me just... Oh, my little hat tops. I think they won't... Uh, no, I don't know. Right, you're going to slide this in and push it up into that corner. See that side? Push it right up there and close that card and just hold it for a few seconds. My hats have gone in, but it's when they're opening. I'm just going to check. So I'm going to put the lid on this. I love these type of cards, interactive cards. And, you know, you know me, I don't like... I like a, a playing card that you just close, but I do love me fun folds and stuff like that. So I'm holding that. Let's see if it's glued down. Nope, it's not stuck properly. I was holding it in the wrong place. So I'll just squeeze it a bit tighter. Let's check. Yay! Oh my gosh, it works. <gasps> Look, that worked. And out pops the little party hat. I think they needed to go down just a little bit lower, so you could lower your birthday down. You could check where the image is. Pull this down, pull your hats down a little bit further, but it does close, and it does hide the hats when it's closed flat. So, happy birthday. Make a wish. I hope you like it. Oh my gosh, I love it. And I hope you give it a go. What it is, I need to push that back a little bit. So I'm gonna just make, you've got to make sure you burnish it really well because this is gonna rub and now it's gonna catch, see? So I may even have to take my fluffers off. Why are they poking up now? You could just, once you've got this slid in and you've glued into place, just push it down and make sure you've got to glue into that corner there. See it? That flap has got to be pushed down into that corner. It's got to go against this piece and then it will be hidden away. And there's my little candle poking outside. I love that white strip now. You can just about see the green, but it looks even better when you're opening it. But I love it. There it is. My jumbo um, swiper card, because my other one was tiny that I made a long time ago. But yay, I think any child receiving that card, or anyone really, I suppose. Pedding. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. I love it. <laughs> it's so cute. And I'm uh, tucked in the head, as they would say. So I'm going to put my little diamonds away. Oh, look, you could add bling at this stage if you want to as well. A bit of rhinestone here, there and everywhere. I'm going to pop my other bits. I am... Um, absolutely boiling on fire hot flushes so aren't they just the sweetest thing I'm gonna add some bling let's see now pokey tool uh, I wouldn't I just think it might just get lost on here Love one there Oh, there's a fly, I can hear it. I've got all the doors and windows open and the flies that come in. Oh, I hate them. But I suppose if you've got an open door and window, they're bound to come in. So I've just added three fluffs, a bit of bling, and I want to wish happy birthday. Isn't that cute? So there's that one. This is the other one. I do like the white wish, but I do like it with the and that's with the 18. I'm going to try my best to peel that off. So, pick a boo. Pick a boo. 
there we go i hope you give them a go <laughs> i'm like a little kid with an interactive card can't help myself um uh, but thanks for coming by and watching again um if you haven't subscribed already but would like to please press this button here in the corner and if you want to see what i make tomorrow because i do post every single day then press the little bell straight away and then at 10 o'clock you'll get a notification come through to say gain has posted a card would you like to go and watch it you click the notification and there you go you can come and see what i'm doing so till next time love you all bye